Okay, tonight I thought it would be interesting to play a couple double aspects against each other. So we've got Aiden Blue versus Hera Green. Aiden is obviously dark side, so she will go first. And that's not bad for a starting hand. That's about as good as it gets for Aiden. We won't need that for a good long time. And just since I'm playing myself, I'm going to resource the regional governor so I don't have to keep track of it. Alright, Hera uh, has to mulligan. Got nothing. Alright, that's better. I don't need two R2s. Um, we're kind of getting some ramp, you know, I think we just resource the pathfinders, just, just go nuts, might be a, a big R2. All right, I was first, uh, she'll start with the pearl four, and... Both of those are pretty late game cards. I think we just put both on the bottom. Uh, Hera plays R2. Callus. Interesting. We know this is going to be a long game. We also don't think that Aiden has many unique characters. So I think we put it on the bottom. Aiden takes initiative. We'll bring out the dispatcher. And be done. All right. Probably don't need two Inferno Fours, so that's our resource here. Ooh. Very nice. Got the three peel. So if Dispatcher sticks around, we can play both Sabine and three peel. So we're going to resource the leader here. Okay, so on this side, we're choosing between Power of the Dark Side and Del Mico. Power of the Dark Side doesn't look that great at the moment. Uh, so I think we just attack base for two. Uh, on this side, we will dispatch her. To play Sabine for one. Then Delmico comes out. R2 attacks base for one and looks at the top card. And we'll leave it there. Aiden's going to claim. And then 3PO comes out and guesses one. We got it. Fun little start for Hera. Okay. New round. Interesting. We're drawing a lot of Inferno Force. Uh, I think we keep resourcing the Inferno Force. Uh, takedown is probably our play. On this side, uh, we're resourcing to four. We have an effective five with the Dispatcher. Um, so he's not helping us all that much. I think we're going to resource a fleet lieutenant. Let's see where it goes from there. All right. Delmico can kill Sabine or the dispatcher. I think Sabine feels like the bigger threat. Uh, so we'll kill her and take two. And restore one. Hey there. At which point, I think we are two. Or, you know, <clears throat> they are two Del Mico to get the kill. Look at the top card. 
I think we leave it there. Now we could take down 3PO over here. This is going to be a pretty long game. I think actually shutting our card drop down might be worth it. So we will take down 3PO. Uh, and that was a good move by them. Because now we're playing wing leader uh, and buffing the dispatcher. That's that's not really where we wanted to be. Let's play chop. Uh, Infernal four will grab two damage, and I think we stick to the ground for now. Play fleet lieutenant to get four damage in. Over right here. Uh, Aiden can heal one. Eric can take initiative. That's it. Okay. This turn we're resourcing the five. I think we want to just keep spamming units on versus Spark of Rebellion. Five on this side probably looks like a Beers and a Scout Bike Pursuer. Power of the dark side's not so good. All right. <clears throat> Wheel. Um, let's sneak in a damage with 3PO. Look at the top card, and I think we leave it there. We want some big stuff. On this side, we'll grab the damage with Infernal 4. Since he's gone, Wing Leader can hit the field. I think we experience up Chop, which is kind of fun. Uh, Beers comes in. Uh, Fleet Lieutenant hits for 3. You know what? He's he's gonna actually just gonna trade with uh, Veers. That seems like the better play. Uh, Iden can now uh, heal. Sabine comes in. Iden grabs initiative. Hang on, I'm messing something up. Scout back pursuer should get played. I don't know how I use those resources. Uh, shop hit base for three. Uh, discard a card. And then dispatcher hits base for one. And it's got initiative. That's it. So I guess I need more card draw. Here. Uh, interesting that Ezra kind of functions as card draw, but is not quite as valuable. I think we have to resource him. And hopefully we make a really, really big chopper in case. Uh, on this side, we're going to six. Uh, I think we keep resourcing power on the dark side. Still not performing great. Uh, all right, Scout Pike Pursuer can get an R2 kill, which is phenomenal. It seems like the way to go. I think we flip Hera. Sabine heal or Aiden heals a damage. Hera probably attacks base. Taking it to 10 and giving Chop another experience. I think we want Vigilance because we really need to defeat Sabine. So maybe I should have used that experience on Sabine to protect her from that. 
But vigilance for four. Kill Sabine. And heals five damage from base. Uh, we have a, another specter. So chops gonna hit four, six on base. One, two, three, four. No, only five on base. Five. And he'll discard the top card of their deck. Not a unit. Or not in a bit. Um, Viper Pope Droid comes out and sees Kanan. Kanan comes out. Aiden comes out. I think Dispatcher trades into a shield. Just fine. Uh, Inferno 4. Wing leader, I can deal with damage. Uh, grab initiative over here. I didn't probably swing this for four on base. That's it. <laughs> Two sparks. That's funny. I uh, I guess we keep them on this side. We got six. Maybe we just keep all of this. Maybe we resource the probe, thinking that we're going to play the juggernaut, and then, oh no, we resource to seven. Yeah, yeah. that seems fine. We're going to play the juggernaut, we're going to draw into something else cool later. Okay. I think Hera's pretty happy to trade with Aiden. Uh, taking four and giving Kanan a bump. Um, we might as well get damage while we have it. So let's do three to base with Rogue Droid. At which point they get sparked. And I think we're grabbing the cargo juggernaut. Trying to keep their lead units low. I guess we play Vigilance for four. Maybe. Give a shield and heal for five. Uh, Kanan hits maybe the base for five. Bring it back up to nine. And discarding three cards from their deck. And we get to heal. Reach a different aspect. So we get to heal two damage from base. A lot of aspects. Uh, Inferno 4 will deal the two back. Chopper hits for five on base and discards the top card. Scout Bike hits base for. No, Scout Bike. Scout Bike kills Arrow. Scout bike does. Losing a shield. Uh, that's it. Draw. Ooh, some card draw. Seems good. Uh, I don't think we need to resource. On this side, one to eight seems good. Unfortunately, we start with a spark of rebellion. This presser goes home. Brutal. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, these guys can attack into this stuff, but they'll just die. So I think Inferno four swings for two. Canaan uh, swings for five. And discards two cards. And heals for two. Probe droid hits for three. Chop hits for five. Or it's 24. And discards a card. Scout bike hits for two. Ezra comes down. Titan grabs initiative. And that's it. Okay, this is better. Avengers coming. And on this side, we're still at six at the moment. Let's resource to seven so we can get to the other deck in a row. Okay. Avenger hits the table. Uh, and he gets Ezra. Kanan swings for five on base. Discarding two cards. Healing one damage. And chop. And close it out no matter what they do. So Iden heals one. Chop swings and gets the kill. A little work, a bit of mill work going on that game. Alright, we'll run it back. The spark of rebellion was uh, was pretty big there. Uh, Aiden's really good at dealing with Little units, those big experienced units were harder for her to kill. That vigilance not being able to kill anything is pretty big. All right, we'll flip for initiative. Harry gets it this time. We played two Vigilances, but none of the other double aspect cards. Oh, well, look at there. <laughs> yeah. We could resource this, play Chop and a Dispatch, and hope, beyond hope, that we draw into something. I think we only need one command. Let's. Let's resource home on a command and see what happens. On this side, did not get a unit. We can play. It was all Bendus and Avengers. Well, we still didn't get a unit we can play. I guess we resource the giant stuff and see if Iden can come back. All right. The dispatcher, claim, shop. Uh, that's it. Interestingly, we could have sparked instead of playing these two. Um, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> All right, uh, let's draw. Uh, it's sad to resource Zeb. But we're missing him on a dispatcher. Eh, I think we... Resource the dispatcher. 
uh, here. I think we don't need takedown. So we can play Power of the Dark Side or Del Nico. Let's Power of the Dark Side. And I think we chuck the Dispatcher. At which point we spark a rebellion and grab the vigilance. Uh, Iden claim. Uh, maybe Iden passes. At which point Chopper can attack. Sure. Let's attack. Discard a card. Iden heals it. And. Hair grabs initiative. Okay. Going to four. We have a three, five, six, seven, nine. We might need this nine. <laughs> the way this game is going, there's no damage on the table. Uh, resource stealing. That way, we at least have turns for five and six. And on this side, we're probably playing command. Um, resource callus. Again, they don't have a lot of unique stuff. Uh, we are first. So, I think it's... Give two experience to Chopper and get a resource. Uh, Delmico comes in three. And the big question is does Chop kill Delmico or damage the swamp? And I think the answer is damage the swamp. Uh, and what the heck, we'll discard a card. And that's mainly because we're planning to energy conversion lab zeb. Uh, nothing was killed, so I can claim initiative. Okay, we're going to five. Uh, Power of the Dark Side and a Viper Probe droid looks great. We don't need this Vanquish anymore because that's just as good. So this time it is going to pay off a little bit more. On this side we're going to 6, which is a Zeb and a Dispatcher. Maybe we resource 3 PO. Okay. Power of the Dark Side gets chopped. Uh, we can play the Dispatcher with not much fear. I think Aiden grabs the heal. Energy Conversion Lab on Zeb right now isn't as good, but at least we've killed El Nico. So sure, we'll use it. Zeb's going to take three. Killing Del Nico. Probe droid comes out. Hera deploys. Iden grabs initiative. Hera probably kills the probe droid. Taking three. Giving Zeb an experience. That's it. Okay, uh, we're resourcing to six here, which is a juggernaut. Uh, I think that's the play. We'll save and take down for now. But on this side, we could resource to seven. I think we probably want to because my Mothma is going to draw us a card. So let's resource chop. Okay, 
Um, we could take down Hera. Or we could cargo juggernaut. Hera is going to give Zeb another XP, and he would hit base for 7. Juggernaut feels like the right play, just because it's on curve. Let's bring out Aiden. Do that. Now if we attack with Hetera and give Zeb the experience, Aiden kills him. If we dispatch her, Aiden will die if she attacks either of our people. I think that's probably the move. So swing into Aiden, pop it in the shield. Uh, Aiden's ability heals one. And I do think Aiden probably trades with Zeb. And we'll heal another one. So, pack two. No damage uh, being done. Which is fun. Alright. Let's... Play Ezra. We still have the option between takedown and the Juggernaut. And the Juggernaut doesn't actually heal anything right now. We could pass, which is a little risky, but they're probably not going to miss out on that. I think we just take down Hera, honestly. It feels a little silly, but we're not. All right, Mon Mothma. Search for a rebel. Uh, Kanan and Dodonna seem like the best choices. Uh, we don't have anything to heal, so let's grab Dodonna. Uh, Iden claims, and we pass. Okay. Uh, take down a scout. Resourcing to seven. <laughs> take down a scout might honestly still be better than the Juggernaut. Uh, just because we have nothing to heal, and we're really just trying to get to Avenger and let Avenger just wreck. Okay, here, I think we keep resourcing Callus. Okay, uh, I think we take down Ezra because he's effectively card draw in this super long game. And... Zodana or Zeb? Let's play Zeb. Uh, at which point we can play the Cal Scout Pipe Pursuer. I guess we might as well. Amatma hits base for one. Titan heals one. Air grabs initiative. That's it. Or command. Let's see. We're at. Eight on this side. I don't think we resource at the moment. Here, resourcing two eight. We're going to vanquish. <clears throat> All right, I think we play command. Give two experience to Zeb and have him deal four damage to the scout bike. Or I guess we could return a guy. 
They're mostly unique, so I don't think that helps us that much. Uh, Dooku can come in for seven and defeat my Mothma. Uh, I think we'll play Dodana for four. Grab initiative for Aiden. Zeb hits base for seven. And Ezra comes in for three. That's it. All right. We're resourcing to nine. We finally got to Avenger time. Just kidding. Here, I drew two of my Mothmas, and I think we keep them both. Uh, just because we can keep fishing for rebels. Okay, uh, let's have Dooku kill Dodana. Uh, I think that's pretty sweet. Uh, Zeb will hit base for 7 again, taking it to 14, at which point Avenger gets played. And we're choosing between Ezra and Zeb. Zeb hits super hard. Ezra is kind of like a free card. I think I'm, I'm going to choose to get rid of Zeb. So Ezra can swing for another three. And look at the top card of our deck. And I'll play Sabine. It's going to be very helpful against Avenger specifically. Uh, since something was defeated... Aiden can heal. Or Mothma comes in and search for a rebel. Uh, I think we just want Avenger fodder. So we take 3PO out of all of that. Although we do have Mon Mothma again for Avenger fodder. Maybe we try to close out the game and grab the fleet lieutenant. Uh, Aiden takes initiative. That's what we got. Ooh, that's a big turn. That's a very, very big draw. Okay, we're at 9 on this side. Uh, and we're holding 12 resources worth of stuff. I think we probably just hang on to it. Uh, yeah. We could resource to 10 next turn and potentially play both cargo juggernauts with a new discount. I think that's the move. This side, we're on 8, which is a Mon Mothma, a Flute Lieutenant, and an Akbar. I don't think it's going to get too much better than that. All right. I think we want do to come out to start this one. Yeah. Let's play Bendu. Four, six. The weird game. And if they have Bendu, I think maybe... We want Dodana to help chew through him. I think they know that. That's so Dooku kills Dodana. Takes four. Uh, I think it's swinging into Bendu. Let's swing with Ezra for three. And he dies. Oh, you know what? Since he's going to die anyhow. Maybe. Maybe we play Akbar. For three. Dealing four to Bendu. Then Avenger swings for. The big eight. Uh, and I think Mon Mothma eats it. 
Then Sabine uses her own attack. Get the Bendu kill. She dies. Uh, I can heal. 17. As was swings for three. Back to 18. Look at the top card. Uh, I think we discard Rebel Pathfinder. And Iden grabs initiative. Uh, I think we resource to 10 back here for Iden. And we're still at 8 on this side. Playing Akbar is juicy because it kills Dooku. Let's just keep our hand again. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think we play Vigilance to shield Dooku and heal 5. We're down to 13. Uh, we know the Avenger attack is coming, so let's just deal one, heal one. Uh, Avenger attack does come. It'll eat Akbar and deal eight. Uh, let's get the Ezra attack in up to 17. And sure, let's play the wing leader. Having some experience. Cargo juggernaut. Four six. Heal four. Uh, I think we Akbar to pop the shield on Dooku. Dooku's gonna swing at base for five. They're at 20 now. Bon Mothma comes in, grabs Kanan. Uh, Aiden grabs initiative and an Avenger attack. We'll do it. So that's final board state. All right, gotta go for best out of three. Let's try one more. I didn't. Uh, I didn't vigilance is quite fun. I do think that you know certainly in a mirror match situation. Those games probably aren't getting done in 55 minutes. That's a long, long game. I do like it, though. All right. I can go first again. If I remember right, she didn't even play a unit on the first turn this game. She still came back and uh, killed just a ton of damage. This looks great. Uh, we don't need the duplicate. And let's resource the cell block guard. Got a nice two, three, four option. Uh, looks pretty sweet. Over here, first turn is R2, second turn is Wing Leader, third turn is probably Command. Uh, let's resource Callus and Carabas. Okay. Inferno 4. Ooh. 
These both seem like okay options. We already have a Power of the Dark Sign. Let's put one on bottom. Keep them in front of there. We'll do R2. Uh, 3P on top is great. Okay, uh, Iden claims that's it. Uh, so resourcing the three, probably rather have Del Mico versus Power, so resource the Scout Bike Pursuer. Here going to three, I think we resource the Fleet Lieutenant. Okay. Uh, let's attack for two. R2 attacks for one. It looks at the top card. Might as well leave it there. We'll turn 3P on to resource, probably. Del Mico comes out, which does interestingly uh, wreck command at the moment. So we could switch to playing a wing leader. That's just bad. Uh, turn order. So let's play 3PO to grab the 3PO. Uh, Iden will claim. Oof. Even worse with Del Nico out there. Okay. We're playing the patrol craft. If we resource the governor. And over here, uh, let's resource a command. It's a lot of uh, it's a lot of expensive commands. Okay, uh, we know the patrol craft is our play. I think we swing into three PO again. Oops, trying to cut down on the card draw. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe Mon Mothma could find a Sabine. That would be fun. Let's swing in with R2 for one. Uh, Inferno 4 has two base. 3PO will swing. Well, you know what we could do? <laughs> we could swing into Del Mico. Try to scare him off, and then just play the three people in the off. Actually, kind of like that. Let's swing into Del Mico. Uh, so I don't think I ever even looked at this. Uh, I think it's R two. Uh, but we'll guess three. Then Trollcraft comes in. Or Mothma comes in, and because it's going to be a long game, I think we just grab on one, honestly. Uh, Aiden did get a 3PO kill, and 3PO comes back. Uh, let's guess two. Sabine on top. No, no, that's my mom. Uh, I didn't claims. All right, certainly have card advantage on the hero side. Resourcing to five. So we have a good turn five play. The question is, what do we want next turn to be? We resource Del Mico. This is looking like a space one battle for Aiden at the moment. Uh, on this side, we can kill Del Mico to be able to play command to get Hera out this round. Pretty sweet. Uh, so if we're spending four on that, we would need something for one. And Dispatcher, if he can stay alive, would help us get to home one and all that goodness later. 
We don't really need card draw at the moment. Maybe we get rid of Mama, the resource rather. Okay. Uh, let's get Delmico a kill. He's just going to go down in a blaze of glory and take out my Mothma. Uh, he restores the one, and that way we can make sure we can use Aiden. Uh, R2 swings for one and looks at the top card, and we leave it there. And then 3PO gets vanquished. <clears throat> Uh, that's when we command four. Well, actually, maybe we bring out Hera first. I do think we bring out Hera first. Oh no, no, we need we need command to bring out Hera. So let's command. Give out two experience tokens to R two, and put it in play as a resource. Uh, two on base, Hera, three on base, Hera attacks base for four, actually switch the dice here, and gives R2 another experience. Aiden hasn't triggered, so she can heal a damage. Dispatcher comes out. Titan takes initiative, and that's it. Okay. Here, we're resourcing to six, which is a power, a juggernaut, or a Bendu. Not power and beers. I think the Cloud City Windguard feels like the least useful card at the moment. Uh, on this side, we're resourcing to seven. Effective eight with Dispatcher. So that's interesting. Could home one into 3PO from our Mothma if we get to keep everything, which seems great. So we do want to resource. I think we're resourcing this wing leader. Okay, <clears throat> big question on this side is, are we been doing, or are we power of the dark side and beersing, or, or cargo juggernaut, I suppose. We power that they're probably going to pick Alliance Dispatcher, since the others both hit for four. Yeah, I think we're going to probably use Aiden to try to kill the Dispatcher. So, we could just bring out Aiden. That might be the best way to do it. Get a little, a little threatening. Now, at this point, I'm choosing between Home 1 and probably Command Ezra. I just, I think Home 1 is pretty sweet here. So we play home one and we can go grab either 3PO or Mon Mothma. I think we grab 3PO. Uh, you know what? Let's grab Mon Mothma. Let's grab Mon Mothma. I think a guaranteed card is better. Ooh, very nice. Uh, we can grab Zeb. Which seems... Good, because we haven't actually used Energy Conversion Lab yet. It's pretty nasty. Alright. Yikes. Uh, I think we just grabbed two on base for now. We may actually be 
racing design right now. It's a lot of restore. Uh, Hera swings, giving R2 an experience. So she swings for four. Making this to eight. And restores one. I feel like I did two to base, didn't I? That should have been here. You should have died. Alright. Then we do three to home one. And die. R2 gets for one, two, three, four, five. One base. Thirteen. Storing one. Now I think is when we play Bendu. Uh, we'll claim over here, and then Aiden will lose her shield if she attacks one of those units. The healing seems good. If she can pick off Mon Mothma and the Dispatcher in the next couple of turns, Power of the Dark Side raises in value. At the same time, if they're going to attack, they'd have to attack into Bendu. But Bendu's probably going to die. I think she swings and kills a Dispatcher. And then Hera grabs a shift. And that's it. Ooh, more Bendu. All right, here we're at six, resourcing to seven. And we could actually get Vigilance and Power. That feels pretty good. I think we resource Veers. On this side, we're at seven, resourcing to eight. And, geez, tons of options. Let me just resource this guy for a moment. Alright, home one only has two, so it is in takedown range. I think you gotta attack. Oh, you got it. So we'll restore two, hit for seven, take them to 20. Uh, at which point. Point. So Vigilance will kill home one. Which is fun. So I think we use Aiden to kill Mon Mothma and heal a damage. Just to ramp up power of the dark side a little bit more. So at the moment, if we ECL Zeb, he doesn't get a kill. R2 can attack Bendu and live. So can Hera. And then they can able Zeb to double kill Bendu and Aiden. Which seems good. So that would be five of my resources. Uh, if we use the Fleet Lieutenant... Uh, R2 can just kill Bendu, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know that it's going to get much better than that. So Fleet Lieutenant, R2, and Bendu. Hit him for seven and take four back. <clears throat> At this point, uh, it's got to be Vigilance, and we need to defeat Home 1. Oh, R2 should have restored one. No. Uh, defeat Home 1, and I think heal 5. We're still sitting on 5 resources. 
We could Akbar Iden into Oblivion and Spark of Rebellion. That might be the best play here. Let's Spark. I think we get rid of the Power of the Dark Sign so we can't play it. Uh, we're not going to kill anything, so we'll grab initiative. Akbar comes down. That's three to Iden. Hera swings at base for four. And. Um, let's see. R2 has four left at the moment. Let's give it to Akbar then. <laughs> so we're resourcing up to eight here. Probably takedown and vigilance are what we're keeping. Not going to win us the game, but it might make it so we don't lose. On this side, we're resourcing 2 9. Uh, lots of good options. Uh, let's just resource the coming. Okay. So R2 has four. He's the biggest threat. We got to do takedown to get rid of him. Uh, might as well play Dodonna for four. Uh, Aiden can heal one. Eric can swing for five. Get another one to Akbar here. That takes 22. Vigilance can heal five. And kill a fleet lieutenant. Akbar does three. And heals one. Iden claims. We've got five left here. Let's do Ezra and Sabine. That's it. Card advantage just slipped away. Iden's not quite out of it. All right, she's on eight. So resourcing the nine will get us a Bendu and a Veers. Not looking good. On this side, we're also on eight. No, we're on nine. We could resource to ten. Let's do it. Okay. I has to play the new or six. And we still haven't used Energy Conversion Lab, so Zeb could come in and swing for six. So I think we just attack with someone little, like Sabine, and attack him for two, and then still hit base for one. She dies. Veers comes in. That's when we finally trigger Energy Conversion Lab. Let's bring in Zeb for five. He attacks Bendu. Taking four, completes the attack. He kills them both. I can still heal one. And then let's see. Hera does four. Dodonna does five. That's at nine. Three more here. Well, yes, there. 
Man. Intense. <laughs>